Hi everybody, here's a quick video of what I found in the weekend when I went to a park in my city. I was quite pleased with what I found. I was there for a couple of hours. Uh, lots of people came up and chatted to me and it was very positive. They just wanted to know what I was doing and yeah, it was quite a busy little park. Busier than I've ever seen it actually. Um, but yeah, with me and my friend Ryan have been there a few times. Um, I decided to go without him because he was busy. And yeah, this is what I found. I found one silver 1922 Australian threepence. It's got some weird blacky silvery stuff on it. Um, I tried to get it off with a bit of baking soda. I did clean it up. You know, the silver bit did shine up really well, but black stuff's still there. But, oh well, you can still read it. It's all good. I found 40 cents, so 20 cent and 2 10 cent coins of current currency. Um, I noticed that the 10 cent coins get rust and stuff on it quite easily. Also found... So the 1910, 1936, 1937 English pennies and a 1944 New Zealand penny and a 1944 New Zealand half penny. I found six 5 cent coins. They read around 33, 35 on the ID of the Fisher F2 metal detector. And also found a 2 cent coin and 5 1 cent coins. Also found half of a one cent coin, a fishing weight, which is always weird to find these at parks where there's no sort of water around. But then again, I was talking to some people and they reckon that there was a quite a big creek that went through the center of the park at one stage, so that, that'll be why. I also found this copper or nickel, either it's a decorated washer of some sort or it's a very small kids ring looks like it's been plated of some sort so it's quite interesting but my coolest find da -da -da -da, is this massive horseshoe my first horseshoe um, I'll just grab 20 cent coin for comparison so yeah she's pretty big um, showed it to a horse enthusiast and she said that it's off a of Clydesdale. Um, as you can see it's worn here, I've seen ones on YouTube videos before where they you get a lot of half horseshoes. So that'll be why it sort of gives out there and then corrodes then you get half a horseshoe. Yep so she's definitely covered in rust. I'm going to boil it in vegetable oil at some stage and see if it comes out any better. And if so, I'll hang it on the wall. So, pretty stoked with that. It is a very old park. It's probably late 1800s, early 1900s. Um, because that was when the city was established, around about. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, 21 coins all up. Not a bad hunt for a couple of hours. So yes, please like this video. Please subscribe to Kiwi Metal Detecting. And as always, happy hunting.